All right, it's time to go into the main building. Oh my gosh. It almost feels like I shouldn't even be here. It's that silent. Like, it, I, I just hear. Coronavirus! Coronavirus! We're currently at Springs. We're on a mission to go to the resorts today. But first, I'm gonna go to a place I've never eaten before. Wine Bar George's The Basket. All right, so you order right there, then you pick up right there. I'm currently waiting. They don't have paper straws. They have agave straws. It kind of looks like a dirty straw, but I, I hate paper straws because they always become like mush. Let's see how this thing is. So the chicken skewer, each one is $4 each. It comes with, it looks like a slaw salad. Spritz it over there. Oh my God. That thing is packed with so much flavor. Holy crap. So tender. So juicy. Oh my god. 10 out of 10 on those chicken skewers. This is $8. This is a this is a lot of fries. So it's got looks like chives on top, bacon bits, and a avocado crema. Alright, we got a little bit of everything. The crema is really creamy. It's not the avocado flavor isn't overpowering. The bacon is nice, but when it comes to the actual cut of the fry, they're all right. They're not my favorite French fries, but I think all together they're decent. Like if you're you're hungry. For eight dollars, holy crap, that is a good deal. If, if you're having an alcoholic drink, you, you need something salty, get those fries, they were so good. And please, can we all switch to agave straws? Because this sucker is not soggy. Mm. Wine by George the Basket, good job. So the hangar bar just opened like two days ago. And since the cases are rising in Florida, they are no longer allowing bars to serve alcohol. So all the bars are like shutting down right now. I feel sorry if you're a bartender right now. Now, I will say, we haven't seen anyone in a fishnet mask today. Disney guests are actually wearing masks. I'm proud of you guys. It looks like Phasma sent out her trash troopers. This is station two. No suspicious activity. Sector is all clear. Well, well, we, we tried. Okay, bye. Now it is hot today. They said it's a, it feels like 108. Now people judge me because I, I brought an umbrella today, but I don't care. They all sweating. I'm staying cool and collected. I'm staying frozen like Olaf in the summer. So there's a special way to get over to the resorts because you just can't drive over there. It's pretty much impossible to get to a resort right now, except for going to Disney Springs and then taking the bus to the resort. But okay, it looks like we're gonna go to Gate number nine for the poly. They got hand sanitizer right before you get on. And our chariot is here. So the bus driver said he has to wait four minutes to kind of air everything out and circulate the air. There you go, Don. The busiest I've ever seen a Polynesian parking lot. And we haven't even gotten in yet. It's kind of eerie because there's no monorail going by. The parking lot is literally like, there's like 10 cars in it. We can finally take a picture in front of Maui and there's no longer a giant line of CP girls trying to take their selfies. Oh, so oh, wow. Look at how shiny the floor is. It almost just looks like wet. Yeah. I don't like this, it's so eerie. <laughs> This is just so weird. Enjoy taking your photos, because when guests get here, you'll never be able to take them in silence again. Just look, just look, look at, look at this. You could just lay out and sleep on every single couch. They don't have the little kids area where they normally have on the Disney cartoons. There's gotta be more cast members than guests here at the resort. Oh, but look, you can see the castle right there. Oh, Trader Sam's, I don't think you'll be opening for a very, very long time because you can't put all those people in there. Ohana is completely shut down. The bar is completely shut down. This place is normally popping right now. You could normally never find any seats in this waiting room. And they do still have Moana's Mercantile still open. The monorail doors don't even open. Huey, Dewey, and Louie, I've missed you. This is normally slammed with people. Minnie, how are you doing? Time to go to Captain Cook's for a little snack. All right, so I'm here to get that little guy. Look, there's not one person in here. So I used to like fighting for chairs in this restaurant and kids crying and screaming. 
but it's just us and a couple cast members. <laughs> So weird. So my mobile order is finished. I love this mobile order. I've never done it before until like this week. I love it. So today is June 26, which is 626. So at the Polynesian, they always do a special little stitch treat. So this year is this little cupcake. Oh, look how cute he is. So you got a little stitch surfing. That's a real, oh gosh, it's a real flower. Edible glitter. Oh, I wonder what flavor it is. I always feel bad ruining, oh gosh. There's something in it. I'm gonna say it's coconut. And there's definitely coconut pieces on top. I think the filling is coconut. It's a decent cupcake. They they literally just made it. There, it wasn't overwhelming with frosting. <laughs> I wish every Disney cupcake was like that. Now the one thing I really love about nobody being here and nobody being at the parks is you just have time. You're not distracted by people around you. You just have time to look at all the details around you. Like I'm looking at all these posters and they're great. Now there's something I know you all have been missing a lot. A Dole Whip, and we can get one here. I'm getting this little guy. There it is, it's Stitch with a little mohawk. Dom, how's your Dole Whip? Is it everything you've missed and more? I guess. Yeah, Oh, what have you? The sucker's like melting so fast. So it's not a pineapple Dole Whip, it's just vanilla with blue. I honestly think this is one of my least favorite Disney desserts I've ever had. It's just not good. I can't even fi finish it. The cupcake, we started on a high note and then went kind of downhill to Blue Milk's ugly stepbrother. Like how many times can you just sit here on the grass with not a person in sight? We've made it. Oh, <laughs> so close but so far away, Jared. Look at this. Oh man, this is the freaking life right here. Like, I, words can't comprehend how crazy this is. There's not a soul in sight. It's six o'clock. It should normally be swarming with people right now. Going to eat at Ohana's, getting home from the parks, getting ready to watch the fireworks, and there's no one. Wow. I wonder if there's anybody in any of those villas. The outside bar of Trader Sam's is also closed. Now, who knows when the Spirit of Aloha show will reopen, but we're leaving the Polly, and now we're time to venture over to the Grand. Now, the only thing you hear is just the water a little bit, the trees, and silence, and AC. Okay, we are officially on the Grand property, the wedding pavilion, locked up. What's the point of this sidewalk? Shouldn't this be like, Fenced off. Look at all those dark rooms just awaiting guests to arrive. There she is. There's Magic Kingdom. Look, there are finally some guests. The beach's pool bar is closed. There's no movies being set up. These poor little swans are just so sad and alone. It's time to go into the main building. Oh my gosh. So the cafe is still open. 1900 is closed. Allison's little station is empty. It almost feels like I shouldn't even be here. It's that silent. They still have the little gift shop open. This is, oh my God, I'm speechless. Just an empty piano. Just look. Just an empty band station. For your safety, maintain physical distancing. I don't think you gotta worry about that in here. They have all the cast members behind plexiglass. They have a way up and a way down. I'm very confused on what this is. The upstairs gift shop is still open. And again, they got the monorails blocked off. Please pardon our appearance. This area is being refurbished for future enjoyment. Look, they have removed all of the soap from Basin. 
How am I supposed to get my wonderful hand scrubs? Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. Empty. And then my old restaurant that I used to work at, Citrico's, is right behind there and it's closed. I just went into the Enchanted Rose and it's empty in there. So I talked to the bartender. She just got back to work yesterday and they have now shut down all the bars, I believe in Orlando and Florida. So now she doesn't know what to do. What, I, I don't understand, I don't know what these cast members and bartenders, I'm still furloughed, but I, what happens when these people come back and then they have to go off? Like I, <sighs> not a soul in the Enchanted Rose. Now I always find this painting very fascinating of this rainbow monkey holding its little baby monkey. And it kind of stares into your soul a little bit. Hey Mrs. Potts will not be serving any tea anytime soon. We have found the special Harry Potter suite That's underneath the, the staircase. Cupboard under the stairs. All right, we are booking it. We we're back at the poly. The grand was a little too creepy. It felt like Bioshock with the music playing, but we are rushing to the bus right now. Then we are officially back at Springs. That was a pretty painless travel trip. Not that bad. I think the bus took like 15 minutes. Was... Now guys, currently we are home from the resorts and let me tell you, it was interesting. The best way to describe these, they're kind of like abandoned resorts is like, if you ever moved out of a house, it's no longer a home, it's just a house. That's kind of like what it felt like. It was felt like part of the magic wasn't there and I know it's gonna be a very, very long time until the magic is fully back and operational. Ah, there's, again, there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes down here. I feel sorry for the bartenders and the restaurant workers. There's, again, so much stress and so much uncertainty every single day. When July 31st hits, then our unemployment runs out and then every single cast member and their mother is gonna be looking for a job down here. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be interesting. All the resorts were just a complete ghost town except for the cast members. Now, the cast members who've been called back to the Call of Duty to make magic, thank you so much for coming back to work. It was great talking with you and interacting with you, but those must be very, very long days. I do wanna say the resorts were immaculate. Everything was spotless. Even Mary Poppins would be proud of how clean it was. I feel for the cast members because the whole day you're just kind of like just chilling there. And I've, I've had days like that working at the water parks during the winter time. Like it's completely empty and it's just you standing there for like eight to ten hours. And this is like until who knows when. Now currently the only people at the resorts are Disney Vacation Club guests and they had made a reservation way back in time to this current time. There's a lot, it's kind of convoluted with who can stay and who cannot in the reservation system. Now being at the resorts was one of the coolest, eeriest experiences I've ever had. It's definitely a once in a lifetime just being at a empty resort. I thought the bus situation was really nice. The bus driver almost became like a cedar. He loaded us in each group by group and they also had like little sneeze guards in between each group. So if you want me to go visit some more of abandoned Disney resorts, make sure to give the video a like. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. See you all very soon. I don't know why I find this as funny, but look at all the little flags that they have up.